Okay, so in this video, we're looking at the SEC 2018 Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 1, Question 4, and it's a complex numbers question. So prove using induction. Actually, I'm not going to answer this question. The link to the answer is in the description below. I've made a video on it uh, on all proofs that are on the Leaving Cert. So have a look in the description below and you'll see a link to a, another video. Uh, it's a playlist, actually, um, of all the proofs for the Leaving Cert, so worth having a look at all of them. Uh, rundown of the question, though, it's 0, 5, 7, 11, and 15 question. This is asked in 2018, and if I'm not wrong, I think 2016 as well. I think in 2016, it was a 5-mark question, and then it came up two years later and was a 15-mark question. So I would imagine in 2016, it wasn't answered very well. Uh, so they decided to go and ask it again. The B part to the question, though, a 10 mark question then, obviously, because the first part was a 15 marker. And we can look at the whole question as a whole, hence or otherwise. So hence, it asked us to prove um, De Mauver's theorem. So hence meaning we can use De Mauver's theorem or otherwise. If it didn't say or otherwise, if it just said hence, you would have to use the Marvers theorem, but it says or otherwise. So you could multiply out three brackets. And the reason I'm saying three brackets is because it's to the power of three. So you could have this bracket by itself three times. Would take a bit of time, but um, look, they really want you to use the Marvers theorem and there's no point not using it. So first of all, we need to change it to polar form. So first thing in changing the polar form is to draw out an argand diagram. We know it's going to be minus on the real axis because it's minus a half. And we know it's going to be positive on the imaginary axis because the root 3 over 2. Okay, so what else do we need? We need our modulus using the modulus formula, the length, the distance it is from the origin. So we need the modulus, which works out to be 1. We also need the argument, that is the angle it forms with the real axis, so the red angle here. But it's hard to find that, so what we do is we have this triangle here, which is a right angle triangle, and I've drawn it out here. We know on the real axis it was a half, and we're saying positive a half because there's no such thing as a negative distance, and root 3 over 2. If you can find or the reference angle, that's capital or, we could find the red angle. It is smaller, so looking at the brown, that's 180 degrees. We know 180 degrees is pi radians. It's not 180 degrees, it's smaller than 180 degrees, so it's going to be pi minus the reference angle. So we work out the reference angle over here by going opposite over adjacent, so tan is opposite over adjacent, and you're then taking the tan inverse of the root 3, because all of this simplifies down to root 3, it simplifies to the root 3 there. Um, so we've gotten our reference angle is pi over 3, or a third pi. We can find theta by subtracting it from the pi, because remember that's 180 degrees, so I can find the red from subtracting the reference angle from the 180 degrees and I'm getting 2 pi over 3. So now we know the modulus and the argument. So we know that this complex number could be written as this. Remember it's or cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 3. What does the Mavra's theorem says? say it is the modulus to the power the argument by the power one to the power of three is one three by two pi over three is two pi three by two pi over three is two pi and it says weirdly in its simplest form so keep multiplying that out cos of two pi is one sine of two pi is zero one plus zero i could that go simpler Yes, it could just go 1. If the question had said a plus bi, you would leave it here. You'd have to leave it here in the 1 plus 0i, but it says in its simplest form, so you'd just write 1. 
really short video because you're going to have to go and look at the proof i know but do ha go have a look at that proof um it's really not that hard i would also recommend looking at proof by induction if you're going to if it's your first time looking at the proof go revise proof by induction before looking at the proof of the marvel uh, and focus on the the steps to it which i do outline in the other video but do have a look at the video in the description below